I'm Mr. Klingler, and today we're going to talk about two right hand rules right hand rule feel and right hand rule loop. Both of these will allow you to find the direction of current and magnetic field, assuming you know the other one. So, right hand rule feel. This is the most basic version we use to figure out the direction of the field due to a current. Right hand rule loop is a very specialized version, which we'll look at in a second. The steps to right hand rule field. First, Your thumb needs to point in the direction of the magnetic field. Next, your flat hand points to the region of interest. Finally, the pads of your fingers point in the direction of B. Let's take a look at this. Imagine I have a current carrying wire pointing in that direction. I would like to know the direction of the magnetic field at this location. All right, I can do that. My thumb points in the direction of B. Next. I use a flat hand and I point my fingers into the region of interest. So my region of interest is down there. Next, I look at the direction that my, the pads of my fingers, this part of my fingers, are pointing. They're pointing into the board. So the magnetic field at this location should be into the board. If you recall, into the board is, used, is shown using an X. What's it doing on this side? Thumb in the direction of current. Flat hand. Point to the region of interest. Pads point how the field is pointing. So up here, it must be a dot because it's coming out of the board. Imagine I have a current carrying loop of wire. What is the direction of the magnetic field in the center of this loop? All right, I have my right hand. I point my thumb in the direction of the, of the current. I make my hand flat. But notice, my hand isn't pointing to the region of interest. I care about what's going on in the center. So I turn my hand until it points towards the center. The pads of my fingers are pointing this direction. So the magnetic field in the center of the sloop must be out of the board. What about down here? Current is going in that direction. Flat hand points to where I care about. Pads of the fingers are pointing out. All right, so the, once again, the magnetic field is pointing out of the board. Final look at this one. Imagine I have a current carrying wire where the current is coming out of the board. So the current is going this way. Okay. What is going on right here? Thumb points in the direction of current. Fingers point to the region of interest. The pads of my fingers are pointing this way. So at this exact location, the field must be pointing in that direction. And this should make sense because, as we know, a current carrying wire generates a magnetic field that forms a circle around the wire. Okay, pretty good. Let's look at right hand rule loop.
This is only used for loops of wire, solenoids, things of that nature. It's fairly simple and really intuitive. This is how this one works. Curl your fingers in the direction of I. So imagine I have a loop of wire. Imagine the current is going in this direction. Curl my fingers in the direction of I. The direction my thumb points is the direction of B. In this case, B would be coming this way to the left. Imagine I have a loop of wire oriented like this, with the current traveling in this way. What direction does the current go? Well, the current goes this way. What direction is the field? My fingers curl in the direction of I. My thumb points out. So in the center of this, that must be the direction of B. Another example. A solenoid. I have loops of wire going around it. Imagine the current is going this way. What direction is the magnetic field in the center of the solenoid. When dealing with something like this, <coughs> excuse me, the easiest way is to actually have a physical object like a pen. Imagine I have a pen here, and this is the center or the core of the solenoid. The current is looping around this way. What I do is I loop my fingers around it, around the core, just as it shows in this diagram. Notice in the front, the current is going up. So my fingers loop that way, curl around. The direction of my extended thumb is this way. The magnetic field must be pointing this way within the solenoid. Note that field lines are leaving here. Field lines are entering here. So this acts as magnetic north and this acts as magnetic south. There you go. Two loop rules. Have fun.